In today's video, we're going to discuss if it's too soon to re-enter Kony. This is the high yield dividend ETF by Yieldmax for Coinbase. This fund has a huge dividend and it had a huge run for us too. It had a 100% dividend and it had over a 50% run for us. And now it's pulled back and we've scaled out of it. Is it time to scale back in? Also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll share with you what I'm doing with Cornerstone because there's some interesting developments happening there as well. So we're earning about 200,000 per year in dividends at this channel, living the fire lifestyle and so can you. Email me for my e-guides at akintod 48 at gmail.com if you need help doing the same. Fire stand for financially independent retire early. And I'm going to get these dividends back up to over 200,000 once the YMAG dividend comes through because that has not registered yet for E-Trade. Also, my performance of value shows that we're beating all the indexes once again. We beat all the indexes in 2023 and in 2024, we're back to beating the indexes. As you can see here below, we're up 4.92%, whereas the S&P is up 4%, and the Nasdaq's up 4.3%. So we're beating the Dow, we're beating the Russell, we're beating all indexes once again due to our approach here at this channel, which we use a little bit of margin for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power. I just use a fraction of this margin purchasing power to get ahead. Everyone's so scared of margin, they think it's so taboo, but I've been outperforming the market for the last three years. And even during little dips that we've had in the market this year and last year, again, I was still able to outperform. So margin must not be that scary if you know how to use it right. See, all this debt will be paid back by my dividends in less than a year. And I'll be left with all these dividend paying assets to myself, paying monthly cash flow for life that qualifies to banks for loans. That's how you live the fire lifestyle since trading gains and Bitcoin gains can't get you there. You need either a job or dividends. So this is how I'm doing it. And then my leverage just goes away by the end of the year, again, because my dividends pay back my margin. So there is no risk by the end of the year. My margin debt is also low interest. Many of my clients who bought my e-guides negotiated their interest rates down too. And that's the advantage you get when you buy my e-guides, you get my phone number for life. But but only up until a thousand members is reached in discord we're approaching that number fast i'm also going to be sticking with the live video format i'm just making this video so i can update you guys of my plans i can't live stream on discord or patreon because it only allows 50 people at one time so live streaming is the best option i know of for when i need to make an important video like when the market's up or down big or when cornerstone has a rights offering or when I simply place options trades or make my insurance trades that all of you guys have questions about, okay? All of these are better addressed with the live stream format. So I'm really looking forward to the live stream process. It's gonna make things easier for me. I hate editing YouTube videos and releasing them after the fact, after the feeling is gone. However, it's gonna be more time intensive for me because I'll be answering your questions in real time, and that's why the $10 a month charge. If you wanna join my service, just click the join button below, or I'll link that in the description. So should we buy more Kony? Today it's up 2% and yesterday it was up about 7%. So I nibbled on Kony yesterday. I bought about $500 of Kony because we had about a $4,000 position in it, okay? We paired it back to 4,000. And now that it seems to be bottoming, I'm rebuilding my position in it slowly, okay? I bought 500 yesterday just to see if this is a real breakout. If we go into the chart of Coinbase, you can see, first of all, Coinbase is up 5% today. So it's beating Kony by a lot. But it looks like there's a potential bottom happening here because we're on the 100 day moving average, that purple line, and we broke above that 50 day moving average, okay? If you need help understanding charts, that's in my volume two e-guide. So we broke above the 50 day moving average and we bottomed on the 100 day moving average. So this begs the question, is it time to re-enter Kony? So again, I'm not taking any chances. We like to manage our position sizes here at this channel. Most of my positions are indexed, okay? That's why my largest position is in Cornerstone. We have about 400 grand in Cornerstone, if you're new to this channel. Cornerstone, it is a four-star fund, as you can see here on Morningstar. If you wonder why the chart looks funny, you have to factor back in dividends and drips. And Cornerstone has a 21% dividend that drips its dividend down at the NAV for free money every month. So I don't know of any other closed-end funds or index funds that do this, okay? It's linked to the S&P, has a 21% dividend, and it drips it down at the NAV for free money every month. The NAV is the true net asset value or the true value of the fund. So Cornerstone is where I park most of my money to get not only 21% dividends, but growth. And Defiance is where I park my money to get pure dividends. Yield Max, I get the dividends from them, but I also trade around them because they are stock specific. So you want to rebalance around the highs and lows in Yield Max. So I'm building back this Kony position slowly. It's hard not to own Kony if you want Bitcoin exposure 
and 10% of ARK exposure because Coney is around 10% of ARKK. And we sold OARC so we could eliminate that overlap risk with ARKK and Coney. And then we also sold puts on ARK and Bitcoin miners after the dips to get more premiums and to get more performance on the way back up because you get long exposure with these sold put options. Yesterday, Mara and Riot were up another few hundred dollars for us. And today, it, once again, we're up another few hundred dollars in Mara and Riot. Not only do you get these premiums where we sold them for thousands of dollars, so we received about $6,000 or so in premiums from selling Mara and Riot, 6,000 just from clicking our mouse. Okay, that lowered our margin dip by 6,000. And we also lowered our risk because that cuts your cost position in half. When you have a strike price of 20, but a premium of 10, now my cost basis is 10. When we did the live stream the other day and I sold those puts for you on the miners, those worked out really well because we've had a rally since and I'm actually getting long exposure through those sold puts with both ARKK and Bitcoin miners. So that's how I got back the lost performance, again, from selling half of Kony and selling all of my OARC. But again, when I'm building back these positions in Kony, I have to manage my position sizes, okay? I cannot get too much into one stock. I have to stay indexed, okay? Here's another thing you have to worry about. It has 50% maintenance, okay? So I don't wanna just build back this position and it suck up half of my equity. This is the secret to the FIRE lifestyle, okay? For every 100 grand I put into Kony, 50 grand of my equity is taken up. So this is something you have to be aware of when you're buying back stock especially high maintenance stocks because they can fall by the amount of the stock and they have high maintenance so that sucks up your equity unlike with indexes whereas cornerstone for example that's 30 percent maintenance and again that's why i park so much of my money in cornerstone if you need help understanding maintenance that's in my volume three margin e-guide and by the way if you need help playing cornerstone that's in my volume four e-guide cornerstone you have to time this fund around its rights offerings beware also we alert you of the cornerstone rights offering announcement in the discord chat room that's why we started the discord chat room to begin with we're almost a thousand members strong there now and we started discord again just so that we could have the rights offering announcement for cornerstone and so that we could talk all things fire related but now it's morphed into an all things financial freedom discord chat room where you can talk about yield max bitcoin you can follow my portfolio there when i'm not making videos on youtube etc but again the most important feature of discord is that rights offering announcement we're all watching for the rights offering closely in cornerstone and as long as we stick together in that discord chat room nothing can get in our way now we also bought more cornerstone okay crf yesterday now here's a chart of cornerstone i want to show you this chart because it looks kind of compelling as you can see we're up today 0.33 whereas the market's up 0.25%, the S&P. So I added some more Cornerstone CRF yesterday because look at this chart. Not only does it look cheap there, but here when you zoom into the main chart, you can see we're up against that 100-day moving average where we failed last time, but now all the moving averages are closer. So if we can break past that 100, then we have just the 200-day moving average to clear, which is the black line right here. Okay, so if we can get up to this black line, the 200-day moving average, and clear that, then we could see maybe $8 a share, okay? That's if the market stays strong. Maybe the market stays flat somewhat uh, as we consolidate around these highs. It looks like the market might be breaking out and Cornerstone is catching up. So this is how I get my performance every year. It's through Cornerstone. Will these play catch up? I don't know. I don't know why closed-in funds have had a slow year to start 2024, but usually the premiums in Cornerstone average around 20 to 30%. Plus you get the 20% dividend and you can drip the dividend down at the NAV. Okay, so either way, I don't make predictions in anything, okay? The dividends will cash flow this asset in less than five years, which covers all losses, and the payback period in Cornerstone is still quicker than real estate. Real estate takes about 15 years. Cornerstone takes five years because a 20% dividend times five years is 100%. It doesn't matter if the stock goes down. If you keep getting the dividend, you cash flow, okay? And then also the dividend just pays down our margin, and then we're living financially free yet another day. Again, just remember to time Cornerstone around its rights offering, and that's what my volume four you got instruction on how to do. And remember, all of my videos in the future will be live, so I won't be making any more videos like this, okay? Everything, again, will be live. It's more fun for me like that. It's more interactive for everyone else, but it is more time intensive, and that's why I'm charging. 10 a month. So if you think it's of any value to be with me during the ups and downs of the market to trade the rights offerings in Cornerstone, or if you need help with some of my more advanced plays like using options to get more income or to buy insurance, then consider this monthly option for 10 a month. Again, you can just click the join button below the video or I'll link it in the description below. And again, remember, if you need help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to the Discord chat room for life and my phone number for life, but only until a thousand members is reached in Discord. Okay, if you like the video, click like or subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.